the one is real. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Takadash. Yahweh is the most high God, and Yahushai is who the world ignorantly calls Jesus the Christ. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who brought the world to the Spirit, teaching this word and believing this word to the best of their ability. And the mighty Shalom to the whole four legs scattered four corners of the earth and from our congregations, teaching this word and believing this word to the best of their ability. Right? And the Lord will and most high put on their spirit to endure. Shalom to the wives and the single sisters that's pursuing to be a loving and silent wife. Lord will and the most high continue to put on your spirit to be believers of this word. And Lord will and the most high have mercy on other brothers and sisters. That's not the same. Uh, this video is inspired by uh, a video my brother Yarmayan had did. If you can look at the title, it says, The Word is Cutting the British Edomites. They want to remove so-called hate speech. Definitely go check out that video. His channel is right there. Yeah, my yeah, hope for left one forty four. But it's not the whole video, you know, um, that uh, that inspired this video. What what inspired it is him um, bringing up uh, Ezekiel, the Lord shut his mouth, and um, I wanted to bring that out, you know, because you know the men of the Lord, you know, the Most High is continuing to have them. Go out to the highways and byways, continue to use the unicorn to constantly upload videos. Regardless if they at camp or they sitting in their house, they at their best friend house, they at work. You know, the Lord put on his spirit to constantly feed the flock, just like Peter. Right? And uh the men of the Lord through the spirit is like Peter. And the Lord is telling us to feed the flock. But there's going to be a minute where the Lord is going to close our mouth and we're not going to speak it. All right, so I'm going to go into this verse. Let's see. Into it. Okay, this is Ezekiel. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 3. Verse 26, and I'll read 27. It says, And I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, that thou shalt be dumb and shalt not be able, shall, shall not be to them a reproof, basically somebody that rebu rebukes or correct. It says, For they are a rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith the Havashimash high power, He that heareth, let him hear, and he that forbeareth, let him forbear. For they are a rebellious house, right? And the ones that's going to hear is the elect. Understandable, the men of the Lord are only here to teach the elect, build the elect, feed the elect. Feed the elect, lead the elect, correct the elect, right? Be on the, on the elect's ass, whoever they may be, because through the spirit, they're going to get right. The elect is going to be uh, occupied in the scripture. This is not the only one, right? Before I even go into a crazy rant, this is Luke chapter 1, starting at verse 20. It says, And behold, thou shalt be dumb. This is the Lord talking to Zacharias. This is John the Baptist's father, right? Which they had a spiritual. Um, birth just like Yahweh shot just like samson right just like moses right it says behold thou shalt be dumb and not able to speak until the day that these things shall be performed because thou believest not my words which shall be fulfilled in their season right because i think even when we understand when the lord had told uh zachariah that him and um, Elizabeth will be pregnant, and they were, they were, they were high in age. I think uh, in the nineties and hundreds. But when you Romans fifteen and four, you know the things that was written uh, four times was written for our learning. When we go into uh, Abraham and Sarah, Sarah was ninety nine and Abraham was a hundred. Sarah laughed when um, the majestic angel, which, 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 good morning. Which was Jehoshaphat told her, uh, told them that they will have a child, right? And they like what? At this age will I? And it's the same what happened with uh, Zechariah and Elizabeth, right? So verse twenty one says, and the people waited for Zechariah and marveled that he tarried so long in the temple, and when he came out, he could not speak unto them, right? He coming out of the temple, he couldn't even speak. He just hearing them. It's like, 
I, man, that'd be dope, me coming to work, and I can't speak to nobody, because the Lord shut my mouth, not that, uh, the OG says something funny today, uh, y'all want to be, y'all want to be a W, but all I'm noticing, I'm, I'm around a whole bunch of DMWs, I'm like, DMWs, he's like, a whole bunch of, uh, dead men walking, I'm like, wow, you know, in, in all, all, all aspects of nations, right, uh, um, even when we out here speaking uh, to the elect, you know, our mouse is really mute to everybody. We don't just go, oh, Jake, da 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 da, because the, the, the spirit would draw you to teach, right? The spirit is putting it on men, especially like the brothers I labor with, you know, and of course, Great Millstone. You know, we're not out here for entertainment. You know, I might do things on the outside, dancing and all of that. But when it comes to this teaching, this is not for entertainment. We're not out here to please every soul. We're not out here to feed every soul. If you listening, you listening, and you're going to cleave. Lord willing, you up that number. And guess what? When you take cleave to this, you're going to do things different. You're going to be reading. Hey, the, the Spirit might draw you to teach if you are that guy. Right? But it's going to be a minute where the Lord is going to close our mouth. Right, 22 again, it says that when he came out, he could not speak unto them. They perceived that he had seen a vision in the temple, for he beckoned unto them and remained speechless. And it came to pass that as soon as the days of his menstruation were accomplished, he departed to his own house. And after those days, his wife Elizabeth conceived and hid herself five months, saying, Thus have Yahweh Shemashai dealt with me in the days where, wherein he looked on me to take away my reproach among men, right? All praises be to Yahweh Shemashai. I was reading something, uh, I think, was it 64? Let me uh, read 63. It says, and he asked for a writing table and wrote saying, his name is John, and he marveled all. And his mouth was open immediately, and his tongue loose, and he spake and praised God. And fear came on all that dwelt around about him, and all these things were noised abroad throughout all the hill country of the day. I thought this was uh, going into uh, Zacharias, right? But going back, understanding that it's going to be a time when the Lord is going to close our mouths. Right, and I'm gonna just go to it's okay. Uh, what is the verse? I think it is. I'm sorry, I got so many preset thoughts in my mind. Um, this is in Moses chapter 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the days come, save the hours of my power, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a feeling of bread, nor a thirst for water, but a feeling of the word the house from all shine. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the house from all shine and not find it. Right? So they're going to be, man, people are going to be looking for this ministry. And, and technically, they're not going to be looking for no pastor, anybody that just holds the Bible. They're going to be looking for T R U T H, the truth. They're going to be looking for the truth, the true understanding. And the spirit is going to be flowing. Joel 2 and 28, right? Let alone when events happen, they're going to understand who is fake and who is false, right? And um, everything we do right now, we're being told, right? Because when we go back and you go back, if you guys do take the time out your day to go watch my brother's video, um, he was getting into this video. Young Brits, basically talking about Brit, British, are open to banning the Bible unless the offensive parts can be edited out, right? And it's just because the truth is coming out, right? That LGB, one, two, three, rainbow, we all three, you know, that is getting exposed. And they don't want that because the society is moving off of uh, Isaiah 5 and 8, right? And I'm going to just show this and I'm about to close out, you know? I'm not, I'm not about to get in trouble. So lucky. I said I wasn't gonna read it. I gotta read it. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Right? And this this why this society has to be destroyed. Right? 
I don't want to give all praise to Yahweh, but you know, Shai, but she was like a dash, global industry, edifying, for your brother died goodbye. If it wasn't, hey, I guess we'll just try another time. Other than that, 